guys, welcome back to Rene 5 Rebuild. If you're new to this channel, if you didn't know already, me and my dad are rebuilding a Rene 5 GT Turbo. So in this video, we're going to take a slightly different tact than we're used to. I know I promised that I was going to give a video regarding the engine being finished. Um, sneak peek, as you can see, we are so, so, so close. This video isn't about our engine being completed. So after all the effort of making this look really nice, I was a bit disheartened putting on certain things which aren't quite as clean. Um, we did respray like the actual base here, um, the block even, and uh, the actual head has been acid dipped. See another video. Um, so it looks really, really smart and nice. And we didn't really want to put these back on the way they yeah. look. So we've done a bit of research. <laughs> they do. They look a little bit ugly. So we've done a bit of research about nickel plating or zinc plating or any other type of plating. So we have decided we are going to give it a go ourselves. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Keep watching till the end. And thank you very much. Right. What's step one, Imogen? Step one is. Cleaning. Yay! We're going to get these so exciting. <laughs> Let's go to a different workshop. <laughs> and we're in the new garage. It's not new, it's nice. <laughs> right. It is. My graphics. Time. First of all, um, I'm actually following a blog for this. So what I'll do is I'll link that in the description. So if you want to follow it through, please do. Um, but we'll explain everything you need for it. Yeah, they don't have a video, so maybe we um, we can help them out. So first thing you need to do is ignore the dogs which are playing in the background. Is actually make the solution. So it says to use distilled water. Actually, water. Um, vinegar or distilled vinegar, salt, sugar, which is in the cupboard, we have to go and get that. In the cupboard. And then corn syrup. But we live in the UK, so we call it liquid glucose. glucose. And then you mix it all together, add the water, add the vinegar. Add the salt, add the sugar, add the liquid glucose slash corn syrup. And then give it a stir. Next part is to cut your nickel, or if you've got two bits, but I only ordered one piece, so I need to cut it in half. Obvs. Bend over the ends. So the idea now is to prime or plate out the, um, the solution. So um, the theory is that if you do that, all of the zinc ions or nickel, because we're using nickel, ions are actually going to be in the solution, which makes when you're plating uh, more effective. So we put it in for about two to three hours, it recommends, according to the blog. So Should we do that? Still. Right, so you get your solution <clears throat> that we've mixed up. You get your nickel and you can pop it in. Or is it attached to the sides? Like that. The idea, I bent over the edges there so oh, yeah. it can't go in. Okay, and then what you do is you get your power supply. Is this what makes it electric? Correct. So, um, um, danger, danger, don't touch it. Right, um, I yeah, bought this power supply one. with crocodile clips already attached, <clears throat> um, of Amazon, I think it was, I think it was about fiver. So, according to the blog, you connect your positive to one side, negative to the other side. Make sure you don't <clears throat> submerge <clears throat> the actual leads itself. 
just the nickel in, this, in our case. So I'm going to attach that there, like that, this side there. And now, oh, well done. Now, plug it in, voila. And we need to turn this on, and it reckons you will automatically start seeing bubbles appearing. Ready? Power. Oh. <gasps> and it's actually bubbling. If you look there, bubbles are I appearing. Can't really see it on camera. There we go. What's this even supposed to be? We've just explained that. Right. So what well. is this? What is this doing? So the ions from your nickel is going into the water. So when we then later put our piece of metal into it and leave it for 15 minutes, um, the plate from, I'm not going to touch it now, but a plate from here will go onto our piece of metal and mm. make it all shiny. And the other advantage oh. of nickel is it's rust proof, which means that as... It won't go rusty. Ooh, there we go, we've got a... Uh, a legend here. It says to cover this slightly. So we'll give that a go. Not completely. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that. Because I don't like the idea of that. And we'll see you in two to three hours. Two hours in. It's got a real funky green colour now. If you look over there, the um plate itself is actually slightly shrunk it's got some nice bubbles going that is three hours and now as you can see it's a wonderful color and it's still going over here my first are victims these two bits which sit on the side of the engine front of the engine both of them can now be cleaned with um, like a detailing thing that you use spray before you spray paint. So it's um, really, really, really good for cleaning away any oils, anything like that. So there we go. Um, and what I've done here is I've actually attached the first victim to with, with a piece of wire to a ruler, which I can just slot straight over the top of the actual um, Tupperware and start the process. The first victim is going to be one of the side plates of the engine. That's the dirty side, which you never see. That's the clean type which you do. I think um, if you point the piece that you really actually want covered towards the plate, the likelihood is that will be the bit which should actually cover the most, I think. That's the... As a thought, anyway. Mm. Okay, so what you now actually have to do is you have to put a negative feed onto the actual wire which is holding the piece that you actually want uh, plated. Just now, yes, now you can see the piece that we actually want nickel plated, it's gone all bubbly. Turn off that, like that, and then I've got this. I'm not sure we've done it fairly right, but you can definitely see it has started to go through. I would guess you need extra coats to get it a bit clearer. We were right. It actually took three lots of 15 minutes, so 45 minutes worth of um, going through the actual plating process. This part worked really well. As you can see, it's a, a sort of a dull um, silver now. This one, interestingly, I'm not sure what really went wrong. Um, we're going to buff it up and see if it sorts itself out. But it could be a combination of a couple of things. One, I use like a panel degreaser. Maybe that was incorrect. Um, the other thought is actually I was hanging it with like a copper, piece of copper. So maybe the copper actually caused, see, it's got a bit of almost a coppery look around it. Um, that might have caused it, or I don't know, maybe there's extra grease in here that just didn't get removed. Anyway, 
So we're going to try um, buffing it up now back at my dad's workshop um, with a buffer here and see how it comes out. There we go. One nickel plated part for the engine. Only disadvantage, got to do that a few more times now. As always, thanks for all your support. Our numbers are growing. I think you know, we're over 600 now, so if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep us going, thank you very much.